Welcome to my house. I'm Raven, and welcome to this brand new Let's Play of the Seventh Guest. And with me is David. Hey, it's me. It's him. You may know him from the Backlog Gaming crew. No, you wouldn't. Oh. You wouldn't. No one would. Give, give yourself some credit. No. But we're here to play a spooky game. Now, we, we both have some history with the Seventh Guest. I was tortured by this game as a child. In fact, to the point where I had horrible, horrible nightmares. Any, any nightmares, David? Um, I was a little too young to really know what was going on. <laughs> I kind of watched my dad play it, uh, but I do remember there was spooky ghosts. There is. There is a ape. And there was a guest. Seven of them. Seven of them was. <laughs> okay. <Are you> sure. <laughs> well, for those of you watching at home, it's quite a long introduction, so let's get on with it. Are Trilobites still a thing? Yes, Trilobite attempted to do the Seventh Guest 3, but oh. they uh, did not get funding. Oh. Someone's left the light on. In the attic, no less. Yeah. I'm liking the music. The so. music uh, done by <laughs> Team Fat. He's very, very good. He's done... Well, Who? Team Fat, the fat man. Team Fat? <laughs> yes. He's not Oh, the fat man, yeah, there yes. he is. <laughs> he's not prolific, but he's done a lot of good tracks. Uh, I don't know, you'd think you'd hear someone called the fat man. <laughs> Oops, I mean, I played time. Metal Gear Solid 2. Story time. Okay, I'll be quiet. He was a drifter. Moving from town to town, robbing a gas station here, a grocery store there, until one night. She was coming home from choir practice, but she never got there. Stoff took her purse and ran away. <laughs> <laughs> Stoff had to run and hide. He sunk even lower. He had nothing. No life, no possessions, no dreams. I'm glad you find a salt and theft to be so amusing. <laughs> oh. And that's when the vision came. A doll. And in his dream, Stoff reached out. was a gift. Staff carved the doll, whittling the haunting face until it was an exact replica. And when he was done... In the later games they got rid of his hunch. Oh, I thought he was just wearing, like, too many clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he just... Stoff went to town, to a bar. The owner had a daughter. Ooh, he said his girl would love the strange doll. And Stoff offered it to the man. And the owner, in turn, offered Stoff food and a place to stay. A simple transaction. The first of many. I wish life worked like that now. It's a story of how this guy starts a small independent business and the, the, the America comes down on him. Oh. Wow, 3D graphics right there, man. Do you like how he's not actually on the bed? He's in front of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at those geometr geometrical shapes. Who's, who sleeps like that? <laughs> Stoff created the puzzle, just as he saw it, and everyone wanted one.
I mean, we should be making fun of a scary game, but it's blocks Stop in a hole. Machine. Yeah. Because everyone wanted a staff toy. Every boy and girl in the town, from all the neighboring towns. A staff toy is a toy for life. Oh, so this is really more like a no heartwarming toy. story of a man who's down on his luck and has a dream, and he lives the dream. Then the strange virus came, and some of the children started dying. Jeez. Well, yeah. <laughs> then that. Oh. Dying. Clutching their stock toys so close. Those are definitely dying noises. Yes. And there was this one last vision, a last dream of a great house, a mansion that the wealthy toy maker was to build. A strange house, a house that scared people. On a convenient cliff. In it does look very precarious. <laughs> I wouldn't build my house there. In the 11th hour, there's no sign of the cliff. No. Oh. The house moves. Moves. And here we see a very clever use of uh, the in-game transitions, rather than a flyby. That's pretty cool. Hello. My, isn't this a cheery place? I'm not sure, did you see her face? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Edward, I'm not sure we should have been here today. Why? Because it's a spooky old house. <laughs> Don't worry, dear. I'll watch out for you. These people are so rude. <laughs> All right, love. What? I expected more of Mr. Stuff. We get it, you're acting. What a dump. I mean, <laughs> this game is set years after the, these events. It looks pretty clean to me. And Lord, it smells awful too. What's Stuff been doing here? Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? And the wizard. Oh, oh shit, it's more of the Magnificent. Man, a few words. Yeah, he's the wizard. He's the wizard. Yes. Oh. I thought he'd be more, like, enigmatic. Maybe shout that he's a wizard. He swept in with his cloak. Uh, I suppose, but... I remember nothing. That's good, because I remember a lot, I mean, uh, like I said, I have a history with this game, so I do remember an awful lot about it. Well, that was basically from my point of view, because um, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> so are we, we both taking control, yeah? Yes, we both have control of the mouse. Uh, so for those of you who have never seen the seventh guest before, have never, uh, perhaps you're not even familiar with the concept of a point-and-click adventure, we move the mouse cursor around and it changes to spooky skeletal directions. We also have the ability to replay the cutscene, if we really want to. Um, good. <laughs> <laughs> and if we go to the menu, we can do all the good things like saving and access the map. The first thing I'm going to do is save, so that we don't have to watch the cutscene again. Yeah. Because that is unskippable. Which, which number shall we pick? You can go from one to zero. Um... So first decision. Let's go with six. Are you sure you want a six? I've got a feeling about that it number. It is an evil number. Name the right, let's game. go for seven. Oh, it's too Got a feeling about that now. number. <laughs> now you'd think you could just type R A. Nope. You have to click because in the days of DOS, we didn't have keyboards. No, Dark wait. Times. Yes, we did. We didn't. We didn't have mice. <laughs> um, so let's just call this Ravdav. A Ravdav. Hey, what's that? A oh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> well, you were typing, and it did do something. So maybe, maybe you were talking at your ass. Well, maybe. I'll, ch I'll check the video back and just put in the... I don't know. So yes, the map shows us exactly where we can go, where there are puzzles we have not solved, okay, and what's cool. on the different floors. So we immediately we have, we have stuff to do downstairs. How many floors have we got? To work uh, there there are three floors, and then you can go beyond to the... The Thunderdome? Possibly. There's only oh. an attic, a crypt, and a basement, and a laboratory, oh. I'm afraid. It's an art gallery. I'll never get beyond Thunderdome. 
So the question is, where do you want to go? We, we could try and find the puzzle in here. Um, get the, the dining room or the study. Window. Always go left. You want to go to the di dining room? Yeah. Return. Right. Look at those glorious uh, full motion video I miss transitions. these types of games. They do still <laughs> exist. I know, but they're... <laughs> Like, but, I like watching actors, like, just be, like, cringy acting. <laughs> For people who aren't terribly impressed, you've got to remember, this game came out, what, 1993? In fact, I, I, I have the CD case here, and, and I will just double check. It's back when yes, I was a Barbie. Yes, 1993. Oh, hello. I guess our host wants us to fend for ourselves. <laughs> yes. Tasted better there. At least he left his regrets. I'll show you mine, if you show me yours. Ooh. I, uh, I don't know, uh... Oh, it says that we're each to have a piece. Exactly the same, including the symbols. What? That's impossible! A bit over-exaggerated, but <laughs> what's it's, impossible? It's impossible. There, 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 there's a puzzle here. As indicated by the throbbing brain with the skull. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and of course, you it's can. It's improbable. Uh, do, do, do you want to have a look, look at the chattering teeth first? Can we eat the dinner? Uh, I'm afraid there's not actually dinner. They're just... Well, we've got chattering teeth there. Should us eat the dinner, right? Oh. I'm afraid it's, a, it's Hogwarts before Hogwarts existed, I'm afraid. Wow. With a jaunty soundtrack. Yeah, I mean. Right. Let's hit our first puzzle. Basically, yeah, so remember, 1993. You've never seen the. The closest thing you can see to this is like King's Quest. Ah, become a grave digger now, have we? You are a glutton for punishment. It's true. I get it. Now the general idea of this puzzle is you have to have two skulls, two gravestones, and one piece of cake. But you can only take slices that are next to each other. So, sorry, what? Say that again? So, two two gravestones, yeah. Two skulls, yeah. And one piece of normal cake. If you take take if you take a mouse, yeah. And just click a slice. Two skulls and two stones. The rest is just icing. Look at that really shitty voice acting. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, the microphone just what happened. And now <laughs> now you can choose any adjacent slice as long as it's not one that you've already used up. You can also put that slice back down if you wanted to. Okay. Uh. So. Just select two skulls, two tombstones, and one slice. If you get it wrong, don't worry. Oh, okay. More equal than others. There's the good voice acting. What happened? Um, and if, if it goes horribly wrong, then we just reset the puzzle. Staff won't kill us. It's okay. Wait, wait someone's trying to kill us? Well, Staff isn't exactly the good guy here. What? We might we, be in... We made a toy shop and gave it to lots of children. What are you on about? The children died. That wasn't his fault. Ah, uh, it just, it's just a coincidence. Yeah. So there you go, that, that, that's your first section. You need to pick your second section. Ah, uh, don't make me do this. I'm terrible at these types you've, of things. You've completed one-fifth of the puzzle. Okay, so what you... if I do this? Yep, two skulls, two uh, gravestones. Do they have to the be way. next to each other? Yes. Uh, okay. So do that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, you've only got a few more moves left to make. Hmm. Do they have to, so they have to be connected, right? I believe so. Yes. O otherwise, this would be not so even even the skulls. The all of it. The whole the, the one so rock. I've, the skulls. I've buggered skulls. then because that skulls by himself. Well, he's not but by himself. He's still connected to the tombstones. Oh, because so they could be still. Yeah. Connected so the, all all five pieces have to have to be connected. Oh, I get you. Okay, I think I get it. So, if I do that, that, and that, and then... Otherwise you could just lift off any old pieces that you wanted. And then that, that. No. No, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, that one's on its own now. Yep, so if you go down to the very bottom... This yep, one. There you go, that will reset the puzzle. Have to start again. One thing you, you will note is that in some places, if you look at the mouse, 
you can you can leave the puzzle. Ooh, it's beckoning me to the right. And in some cases, they put it right next to it. You can be um, yeah. so close to solving the puzzle. That's, that, that seems like a real. <laughs> <laughs> then you click away. God damn it. Okay, so why don't you show me how it's done? You're telling me that, that you have been defeated by the first puzzle. Well, no, in the game. no. I just want to see how the master does it. I don't want people getting annoyed and going, "David, stop being an idiot. It's obvious." If you're watching the video, just type in the comments. <laughs> Sadly, the, the uh, I voice, read the comments. <laughs> the voice dialogue will go, uh, do every single time, unfortunately. That's fine. I like the sultry tones of my character's voice. Sultry is one word for it. Yeah, I, I heard that right. I heard that right. I think I just messed up. I, I, to be fair, I didn't intentionally do that. I. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, it's the first time playing it. I mean, if, if I wasn't sitting here, you know, helping you along. I, I, I've been I here for quite some time. <laughs> it's just too puzzling. Uh, okay. I'll just double check before I make a mistake myself. Uh, undo that. Because we need... Uh, in fact, I may have made a mistake myself, actually. Haha! <laughs> Yeah, I have. I, um, we needed to leave a block up there and take the... I believe it's... This this double here is the linchpin of the puzzle. Yeah, that's where I messed up. I'm going to have to start again. Yes, yes you are. I still think that is probably right. I guess we somewhat want to clear out these uh, middle ones first-ish. Hmm. We took out those ones, that clears that, that takes out that, these link down here, so I think... Two skulls and two stones. The rest is Why is that line so much worse quality? Because <laughs> that, that's good, that's good, good quality, so it's a decent microphone. It's like someone's like, uh, we need a line, just get on Skype. <laughs> Any line. Even, even though Skype didn't exist, just get on Skype and just... <laughs> talking to my phone. Yeah. No, it was in the 90s, so... Early 90s. Talking to my brick. Yeah, talk to my brick. It's fastened to my hip. Okay. I believe this will work. Yeah. I think you've got it. Because then you can just... So we did the very first part wrong, is that what you said? It's a puzzle game. It. We have to give the impression that we're not just sitting there looking at a strategy guide. If we did it too well, people would be like, uh, they're just, they've got a guide open on the other screen, they're just cheesy. I mean, even if we do have that, um, maybe we're just terrible at reading guides. It's true. But there we go. All cake divided. Ah, piece of cake. Not impossible. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and it comes back. No! <laughs> okay, so what's this? Happening. All the symbols sink down and we get another cutscene. You solve a puzzle, you get story. Oh. Don't worry. I won't bite. Edward. We could help each other out. I could help you. And you could help me. Come and talk in my bedroom upstairs. Where it's nice and private. Damn, this girl's thirsty. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Fucking scary. -ish. Yeah, there's some serious stuff going down here. <laughs> you still think Staff's the good guy here? <laughs> so for, um... It's not his fault that she's like a awful spectre ghost and she blew up that man's head. It's true. So what we, what we saw here is Stalf essentially left some uh, bits of paper for his guests, mm. which which told them to solve various puzzles around the house, and each of them have their own individual uh, clues. So they're all working without full knowledge of everything. Mm. I've noticed that there were only six people. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I no, guess no, there were six people. Like there was like six ghost people. Well, I guess the seventh placing is for Stalf. He's not a guest. He owns the house. Does he, though? Well, I assume he does. But now that you've said that... I'm not actually sure what that... I, I assume that would replay what we just saw. Come to my room. 
upstairs. Mm. Oh my. Oh my. She was, ta- she was talking, right? She, she was talking to me. Okay, you can have her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with that. Alright, let us slowly but surely creep our way out of the dining room. I don't want, like, Skeletor face. Uh. For people who are interested, though I have the actual uh, CDs of the seventh guest here, we are playing the Steam version. Uh, if, if you try and emulate the seventh guest, there's a very good chance that it just plays at super fast, ridiculous speed. Uh, if you do catch any of those theatre masks, there are lots of little crazy interactions around the house. Can we go to the kitchen? We can now go to the kitchen. The kitchen has been hmm. unlocked. Cool. So there you go, all sorts of interesting stuff going on here. When all the seven guests have gathered, you must figure out what I want. It's a puzzle, Mrs. Knox. And mind you, the others are also working at the same task. <laughs> it may all depend on who has the greatest need, or who is the bravest. There are clues throughout this house as to what must be done. The house is alive with clues. Hoping to meet you in the flesh. I mean, you may know host. So yeah, that saying wasn't he's, ominous. He's still saying he's a good guy, right? I'd, I'd like to imagine... He just has a sore throat, all right? Ah, okay. <laughs> he's, like got, to... he's got that illness, too. I'd like to imagine at the beginning of the letter where he goes, ha, ha, ha. He's actually written, ha, 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 yeah. on the note. I mean, she was really emoting when she was reading that note. Like, she was like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, If you're in a spooky house and someone's left you a note, I mean... You... <laughs> I'd be emoting all over the place. What's she up to? Yes, this is it. Apparently that's it. Cool. No, it isn't. Oh, wait, no, no it's no. not. Now, <laughs> uh, this puzzle is... Still? Yes, lady, you, you haven't got it. Give up. Please, for our time. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the, those puzzles that hasn't aged well. You, you come uh, across this a lot in, in some older adventure games where they've given you a puzzle that relies on you knowing stuff that only someone from that sort of age would really know about. I, 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 don't, I don't know if you remember the, this puzzle. Uh, no. <laughs> This night is done. Mm. <laughs> okay, I am starting to suspect he's has slightly nefarious <laughs> intentions. So essentially, this is a whole lot of words in the old English. Yeah, I kind of get it. Um, so, like, would, would you like to? Uh, essentially, you just sort of keep swapping cans and make words. The words are the lengths <sighs> that they are here, but you only have Y. B C G H L M P R S and a lot of T's. Okay. Uh I I, I know the solution to this puzzle, just for complete reference. This complete. this solution doesn't so, change. So So what's that? Is that H? That is an H, yes. You, you click it you click a can, it pulls it out. You click a second can, it swaps it for that okay. can. Okay. So I take it to I mean, you, you can somewhat piece stuff together by uh, bearing in mind that you can only do so much with the, the vowels and consonants. I'm and what terrible with words. <laughs> <laughs> um, so these are S's. Yes. So Y B C G H L M P R S T. I don't. I take it these are two-letter words, but I have no idea any two-letter words that. <laughs> Well, uh, what, what, what do you reckon is inside a can of Y? It's like fresh, fresh canned Y on the shelf. Y? Fr- fresh canned S on the shelf. <laughs> like soup. Soup? Generic brand S soup. soup. Well, let's see. Ketch- uh, ketchup. Two, 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 two letter words. Um, so that they're both very common words, and they both end in Y. They both end in Y. They both end in Y. For for the sake of your sanity, I I I will tell you that much. Okay. 
At least, all right. I, I think, uh, yeah, all right. There's more to these cans than meets the eye. There really is more to these cans than there's meets the eye. <laughs> okay, so, se ye yibuk gilum per resi st. Lie, hi, guy. Well, I, I'd just like to point out that hi would be H I, not right. H. Yeah, no, I'm just going to. <laughs> I don't know how you spell B? hi. B? No. I'm making myself look like an idiot here, but that's mainly because I am one. Well, I, I think uh, you, you said by my, right? By, yeah, I guess by. By my. And that does eliminate both B and M from the equation. I don't think you can do this. Haha, <laughs> funny. I hate you. <laughs> okay. You, okay, you've so, got two words. Okay, so buy my... shit. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> dropping that hard S there. This, um, this is a PG-13 channel. My viewers will be most offended. I may knock it up to an 18. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, if you want to try and figure out the, the, the last word. Buy um, my... It's a spooky game, so it, it's it's trying to advocate you to, to perform some sort of action. That, my... And if it's by something, then it's by my something spooky. <laughs> by my... The, the final letter is correct in that last line. So the, the, the final letter is T. That's a C, isn't it? Or is that, that is a C, yes. See, I was thinking it was ghost. Uh, you don't, but you we don't. don't have an O, do we? No, no you don't. Bye. Now you're making yourself look like... <laughs> <laughs> By my... powers combined. Pow? No. We don't have a W. Nope, no W either. Uh... Almost, in fact, uh... I believe every single word has a Y in it. If I remember correctly. By my your What can you think of that's a spooky place with a Y and a T? Spooky place of a Y and a T. Yes. Mm. There's people shouting like this is <laughs> you're an there, idiot. There, there, there was a TV program. Uh, I, I, I don't know whether you saw it. Uh, I, I'm a little older than David is. Not not by a huge margin, yeah, but that, that uh, there, there used to be stories or tales from this place. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to figure this out, other than by uh, if you go to the library, there's a, there's a hint book that gives you three hints and then solves the puzzle for you. And without looking at that, you'd, you'd spend ages just swapping cans trying to make words. Okay, so that's okay. three words. So by my crypt, <laughs> <laughs> almost there. Uh, first word: the middle can is wrong. Is it wrong? Yes, the middle can is wrong. No. no that's, that's, Why not? No. Cause I was gonna say... Shy? Could be. It's not, is it? Hey, I, I'm not gonna solve the <laughs> whole thing for you, but just assume that it might be right. Assume that it might be. Yeah, because let's face it, if S and Y are in the right place, there, there's only, like, three cans here that actually make sense. <laughs> And I don't think Sty is likely to be one of them. <laughs>